Hey everybody, Pete Greco with Productive Corporation. Joining me will be my good friend Martin Kennard from Stealth Bits to show us a little tech. Today we're going to talk briefly about reducing the attack surface as it relates to privileges. If you've watched any of our videos showing how modern threats work, you'll always hear password and credential theft being a part of the payload. Every mid to sophisticated level attack does this. Why? It's not uncommon for admins to have tons of accounts, or worse yet, use their domain admin account for, to manage everything. Either way, this leaves organizations vulnerable to compromise that is hard to see and hard to detect. This is why folks gravitate towards privilege access management. Traditional PAM can be expensive and difficult to keep up. We're going to show you one of the reasons why we love Stealth Bits. There is more to see than what we're showing on this video, but we're going to showcase these bullet points in the next couple of minutes. My friend Martin Kennard, VP at StealthBits, is going to show us how StealthBits PAM will allow admins to run privileged activities on critical infrastructure in three easy steps. At the end, all privileges will be removed, leaving no privileged attack surface. Take it away, Martin. During the initial phase, we will create or enable an account for the session. We then give it permissions. We allow the user to log on, either interactively or we can launch applications or run task automation scripts. At the end of a session, we remove the privileges and we can do additional steps. For example, Persian Kerberos tickets from the host to remove known attack services, log the user off of those sessions, and then also disable the account. By disabling the account and removing the permissions, we're thereby removing the privileged account attack service, what we call standing privilege. An alternative is what we call an activity token. And think of an activity token as a vehicle to get your administrators from A to B, a little bit like a taxi. So what happens is at the start, we will create the account. We give it permissions, the same as before, allow the user to log in. But at the end, we will then remove the account. So each time the user starts a new session, we will provide a new privileged account. What this does is remove a large attack surface, which is often exploited by nefarious people in the case of lateral movement attacks. The user interface could not be simpler. There are no big confusing lists of managed accounts. The user doesn't need to be aware of the managed account that's gonna be used. What they simply do is they elect to create a session, they choose the activity they want to be able to perform. They choose a system they want to perform it on and when. And the system will then provision the account. It will give it the necessary access that's required. And when it's available, the user simply clicks on the icon to be able to launch that privileged session. The user is now logged on using that privileged account. The user isn't aware of any of the password that's being used. They are able to perform their privileged activities, but at the same time, we are recording this information. At the end of a session, when it's timed out or if a user elects to cancel before, we will then remove the permissions from the account and we will disable. In the case of an activity token account, we will simply delete the account and create a new one the next time. An alternative to the UI, is to use a feature where the user can use a connection string to be able to access their privileged resources using any connection manager. So whether you use Remote Desktop Connection Manager for Microsoft, Devolutions, you know, whether you use nRemote NG, Putty, Reflection, TerraTerm, we support any client on any platform. I'm using MobaX term here. The user will simply execute a shortcut enter in their Active Directory password, select the security token, and the session is created automatically at the back end. So we'll see here within the UI, even though the user hasn't had to log in, they are now being connected through the connection manager directly. Another example of where SPPAM simplifies the user experience. When sessions are completed, the user simply closes it. We detect the fact that the session is closed and then we will automatically cancel the session and then remove all of the privileges and ensure 
that that user account is logged off from the session in the background. From an administrative perspective, we were able to play back these recordings. Wow, that's pretty cool stuff, Martin. Thanks a lot for giving us a look at that. Uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about Stealth Bits, reach out to your Productive Corp account exec or help at productivecorp.com.